So, uh, leading up to Easter week, I did a, uh, a poetry writing exercise with the students that I work with. And during that time, uh, we had these words about uh, death to life and all that, and I was trying to write a poem that dealt with sacrifice, so I Googled uh, animals that sacrifice. And what I found was really weird, and, uh, <laughs> and it developed into a poem um, that, we're gonna, that I'm going to share right now. It's called Beauty in the Small. Scientists have found brutal beauty trapped in the habits of a small arachnid species known as the pseudoscorpion. Now, these miniature creatures only measure in millimeters and actually aren't equipped with a scorpion's physical features. They may pop out of a rock like Scorpion King, but they could never act out a real scorpion sting. Their tiny antenna like arms wave claws that carry venomous concoctions, killing anything small that cares to cross its path. The pseudoscorpion lives below blanketed forests, spinning silk chamber shelters, offering its offspring a home. And get this, when hunting, they hide inside the dark of bark and push claws in open air like worshiping hands, praying for a chance to catch a meal for its children. But sometimes they fail. Sometimes they capture nothing, and if their children are experiencing dangerous hunger and a famine-like desperation, that's when brutal beauty is put on display. The pseudoscorpion ventures home and centers self inside circle of young. Open antenna arms express concern through its pulsating claws. Its sign language is surrender. It's as if it's saying, I don't have anything except myself to offer you, so for now, take me. I'm all you've got. My death will give you life. And the children feast, and it's a brutal, beautiful thing. Now, how can a tiny insect imitate something so savior? Imagine God in flesh, Jesus dangling on cross before his children, open armed, expressing love through his pulsating wounds. All God turned, all human hollowed out saying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Freely allowing our wickedness to puncture perfection. You know we're gluttons of pleasure, but still, while we, we remained unsatisfied, Christ's sacrifice is the thing that quenches all of our cravings. The hunger is filled in our soul with things that are goodness. Through sacrifice, we may truly taste of grace and fill up on forgiveness. We can see God's beauty across the vastness and the expanse of the universe as, so, as far as we can stretch our optics. And if we look closely, we can see Beauty, even in the microscopic, the sacrifice of the pseudo scorpion is brutal, but beautiful. Matter of fact, it's a hint of God's love found in the smallness of his creation. <laughs>